In the 1960s and 70s, they dominated the courts, both at home and abroad, winning the women's singles, doubles, and even the mixed doubles. Victory after victory came in a host of international tournaments, the Sea Games, the Asian Games, and the Commonwealth Games. For that short period of time, everything is worth it. And it makes you feel so proud. Very proud. I started with an open air court. My dad was really the one behind my success. In the evening, he will be sitting on the uh, referee chair at home and uh, he will be guiding us and he will be telling me which side of the court to stand. Rosalind's path to serious badminton was being charted by an unlikely mentor, a doctor who himself didn't play badminton. The late Dr. Sundarajan, who was from Kedah, he saw me play. He will impart his knowledge or what he knows by giving examples. Kuala Lumpur, 1965. The third Southeast Asian Peninsula Games, popularly known as the Siap Games. This is the first major international competition for 24-year-old Rosalind Singer Ang from Kedah. No matter what game you play, whether it's a local, a national or international, you still give your best. When Sylvia had seemingly mastered her strokes, her oldest brother, Roland, decided to put her skills to the test. So he will be taking me round, JB, to various courts to play with anybody. At first, of course, they will be thinking, why play with a girl? And my, but my, my brother Roland would say, never mind, just play, just play with her. And uh, after playing, they said, oh, she is really giving us a tough time. In the 1969 Rangoon Siap Games, Sylvia makes a dramatic comeback. I did well. I was in the finals and I got the gold for Malaysia. That was my first goal for Malaysia. The names Rosalind Singer Ng and Sylvia Ng will be etched forever in the annals of Malaysia's badminton glory.